This is a photograph of a corner in our living room. It housed a desk that only functioned as junk storage. I wanted to replace it with something that would better fit the space and better fit our needs. Starting with a sketch of the corner as a blank slate, I designed this cabinet to fit the space. In the end, it came out like this. And in this video, I'll show you how I built it. I've assembled the frame. The joinery on this is very basic. I just glued and screwed it together, being careful to mark and pre-drill my holes beforehand. The structure still has a bit of a wobble to it, but once I cut and attach the backing board to it, that'll be quarter inch plywood, and that should strengthen it up and make the whole thing more rigid. The veneer of the plywood chipped pretty badly along one side of the cut. This was done with my circular saw, so my guess is the blade's probably getting a little dull. But if you notice, the other side, the cut looks very clean, has a nice edge to it. So one tip is, when using your circular saw, if you're worried about the veneer chipping, put your good face of the wood down and cut from the other side. And luckily, since this is the back, I'll just sand this out and it won't ever get seen. So I'm marking all the spots where I want to put screws in, and I'm mainly doing this just because the half inch material is a pretty thin target, and I don't want any screws to pop out either on the outside wall or the inside wall, so I want a good mark right in the center so I know where to put each screw. So now that I've marked everywhere I want to put a screw, I'm going to go ahead and attach the back panel. Originally I planned to do this with glue, but... I feel like I'm just gonna make too much of a mess if I try that and be cleaning up glue smear everywhere. So I'm just gonna use screws and see how that goes. Um, throughout the whole project, I've been using number six by one inch screws. In case you were curious. All right. Now that the backer board is on, it's pretty sturdy. It no longer has that wobble it had before, and it feels pretty strong. So I was a bit worried about using half inch plywood. I usually work with three quarter inch, but I like how it came out and it's a whole lot lighter than if I would have built it with three quarter inch plywood. So I wanted the shelves to have adjustable heights. So I bought these shelf pins and the Craig shelf pin jig. Although I'm okay with having less options for heights and would love to do less drilling, so I don't think I'm gonna space them every hole. I think I'll maybe do every other. See how it goes.
After a bit of sanding and work on the doors, everything's just about done, but I need to install the tracks for the doors. So the way that's going to work is basically there's two door panels and I added handles to each one and they will slide in this set of plastic tracks that I ordered online and I will link to these down in the video description. And the way these basically work is you can glue or nail them in. The larger one here goes at the top. And then I also cut some pieces of wood that I'm going to use to just to kind of hide the front face of this. And I'm just going to glue everything in place. I'm just going to use kind of like a 60 second super glue because um, that'll stick good to both the wood and the plastic. And then once everything's in place, the drawers, doors just slide right in. Um, one note about these. I cut them to link on length on the miter saw and it cut fine on the first one but the second one it, it chipped on me so I actually read that in the Amazon reviews that it would do that but I tried it anyway lesson learned First I'm going to glue on the piece of trim and that will be flush to the front of the cabinet and I'm going to do that first so then I know exactly where the track needs to go and I can just butt it right up against that. Forgot some clamps. I was thinking I could just hold it in place, but clamps make a lot more sense. This seems on there pretty good, and the rest of these pieces will all get glued in the same way. So with everything glued in place, the doors can be inserted. Basically, you push them up into the top track first, and then mine just barely have enough clearance here, and they fit into the bottom track. And repeat. They slide pretty good. Happy with them. The The track shows a little more here than I like. Um, and this piece of trim is to make it easy. I used quarter inch plywood because that's what I had extra. And it's not quite tall enough to cover it all. But once I put some um, polyurethane on this, it'll give it a warmer tone anyway. And it should all blend together a little better. But... I'm happy with those tracks, they're super easy to use and slide pretty well.